Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Excellent, you thank you. Thank you for answering, Aide. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher, thanks. Good, and good. I'm doing okay, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening teacher. Okay, good, how was your vacation? Amazing. Good, 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 nice. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks. It's good to have you back. Yeah. Remember, good we evening. finish, good evening, we finish classes next week. Next week is our last week. Um, don't forget that you need to do the different exercises in the platform. Remember, you need to have a minimum of 80% of all the work finished if you want to be part of the next level. Okay. Teacher, I finished the platform. Excellent, excellent, good, nice. So when you finish the platform, you're not thinking about it anymore. You're like, oh my God, I feel relief. I feel free. But if you have pending work in the platform, you're constantly thinking the platform, the platform, the platform. So yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> yeah. So it's better if you finish and then you're like, oh, I'm free. Now I only need to connect every day at 8 p.m. and practice my speaking and listening activities. All right, welcome back. What's today's date? Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. Which month? Nine. Ju August. July 9th. July? August. Oh, August. August. July is August. history. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see all the memes on Facebook about Julio? No. Uh, I don't the know. Memes, <laughs> los memes. That people put on Facebook. Oh yeah, the, the singer. Yeah, the singer, the exactly. Singer. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So welcome back. Yeah, um, I say I feel like. <laughs> yeah, July crazy. is history. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Okay, good. So how many days were you off? Were you off the complete week? Um Two days, three days? Oh, four days. Oh, four days for the week, for the class, three days. Uh, after today. No, I mean, how many days were you off on vacation? Ah. Mm -hmm. I had a nice day. Free. Nine days. Oh, my God. That's a long time. Nine days yeah. or nine days. Ah, uh, me too. Good. So you guys are completely new. You recharge your batteries. <laughs> right? Yes. So right now you're like, I want homework. I want to practice. I want to speak. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, I, I either. <laughs> okay, good. All right. So I know that you guys did um, different activities. Uh, we have... 11 people present. So meanwhile, while the others join the, 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 the session, I will assign you to work in pairs so you can discuss the different activities you did uh, on vacation. And since vacation is over, which tense do you have to use? Past. Exactly. Simple past. Simple pass. Now, when you're when you're talking, you can make a combination of different tenses: simple pass, past continuous, uh, different things used to. So, 
Let me see this here. 11 people. So create rooms. Uh -huh -huh. And here we go. Remember, if your answer, if your friend is not answering for whatever reason, raise your hand and I'll move you. Right. Talk about the different activities you did on the weekend, on, on vacation. Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Mauricio? Fine, I am late. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I'm going to send you to room two right now. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, teacher, what, uh, what are we talking about? About the different activities you did on vacation. Oh, thank you. Thank sure, you. sure. To rest or not? Excuse me? Yeah. They took a rest, some rest or not? Not much. Okay. 
Yes. Why is you? Uh, I have something else. No, all right. What about you, Marie, Mauricio? What did you do? Nice zero. I I went to to my job until until Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Then then um, Thursday and Friday. And on to the family. Uh -huh. the fam my family, my my mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. She has okay. she has a house in Shuti in Sujitoto. And what was the weather? The weather is is beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. uh, and too much police in the street. Yes. Yes, I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can drive. You can drive. Uh, price. Uh huh. Change. Hello. I think today is the reading the new. The new lesson. Yes. Today is new lesson, I think. But the teacher, I don't know. Play, yeah, play. You Continue. mean a, a new lesson? A new lesson? Yes. Yeah, it's a. There is a new topic uh, for some of you guys today. For some others, you have seen it before. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. So okay. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Let me visit the last room. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, questions or comments on how to express ideas in the simple past tense? 
No, I, I don't have teacher. Okay. Is everybody clear? No questions? Uh, no. Okay. All right. So, like I said, we finish next Tuesday. Say, uh, a week from tomorrow. So, today's topic is um, sequence adverbs. What, what's the meaning of sequence? What's a sequence? Sequencia. And what does that mean? Sequencia sigue las otras secciones. Okay. Anybody? Back to back. <laughs> Okay, but what, what, but what is the meaning of sequence? What's the meaning of sequence itself? In Spanish? In English. For example, oh, English. next, finish. Uh-huh. Uh, as, as, as. After that. Exactly. Then, first, All right. then, after. Okay. So Finally. we... Exactly. So we use sequence adverbs to explain a process to explain the sequence of events. How do you say testigo in English? Witness. Yeah. Witness. Witness. Yes, witness. So imagine there is a car accident and you are a witness. So they ask you, can you please tell us what happened? Well, first, you know, I arrived at the bus stop. Then I was waiting for the bus. Um, after that, the green car did not respect the red light. So after the green car didn't respect the red light, there was a van coming until he finally hit the green car. So there mm -hmm. you're explaining how something happened. Let me show you this. Okay, can you see my image? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, I need a volunteer to read the first line. Sequence adverbs. Yes, please. First, miss the peanuts, butter, and banana together. Okay, good. Do you guys like peanut butter? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I like. Oh, yes, peanut yes, butter and jelly is delicious. Yes. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, some, you know, like in my house, I'm the only person that likes peanut butter and jelly. My children, they tell me, how can you like that? Why do you like that so much? But it's delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's delicious. Yep. Okay, volunteer to read the next line where it says then. Yeah, toast the slices of bread. Toast the slices of bread. Okay, another volunteer to read next. Next, read the mixture on the toast. Good. Another volunteer after that. After that, put the sandwich and a tongue with butter. Good. And the last one? Finally. Excellent. So there, what they're telling you, how do you say receta in English? Recipe. 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 Exactly. Recipe. Recipe. How, how many syllables recipe. are there in the word recipe? Uh, recipe. recipe. Three. 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 Three is correct. How do you know three Three is the answer? Oh. How do you know that three is the number of syllables in that word? Because the pause that you have to, to do to okay. say the, the word. Okay, and when you say pause, what exactly do you mean? Maybe stop. stop. Because. Okay, someone else, how do you identify the number of syllables in a word? For the pronunciation. What pronunciation? 
the recipe, uh -huh. for example. Okay. So how do you identify the number of syllables? Recipe. Uh-huh. Remember, the, the vowels that you hear indicate the number of syllables in a word. So if you ah. say uh, hospital, hospital, how many, how many syllables are there in hospital? Three. 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 Three, because you say O E A, hospital. So yeah. the number of vowels that you hear will indicate how many syllables the word has. So recipe has three. All right, any questions about the sequence adverbs that we have here? So mm -hmm. remember, you will always, you will always have number one first. And finally, will always be the last one. So first, it's always first, that's redundant. And finally, it's, uh, it's always last. Then next, then next, and after that, they are interchangeable. They're interchangeable. Questions or comments? No? No, no. Okay. Now imagine that uh, you're lending your cell phone to somebody and it's the first time that this person is using what's up. How do you explain this person how to use what's up? <laughs> what is the first thing they hmm. need to do? I choose. Need to yeah. download, I, download. Yeah. App. Okay, download the app. What is next? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and next Open the app. Need to, uh -huh. Open the app. Yeah. What is next? And next. the sequence. What sequence? Uh, he's going to write the he, his put, telephone put number. Put your number for... Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's make it easier. Imagine that you say, Francisco, lend me your cell phone to send a WhatsApp. I already have WhatsApp in my cell phone, yeah. right? So how would you explain the person? So what do you I need to say, do first? Okay, first you need to open the, 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 the app. app. Open the, the app. app. Open the app. Mm -hmm. Okay, first open the app. Then? Select. He wants to send a message. And you will be the contact. The person. Aha. Uh -huh. the then person. you have to find the person that yes. you will send a message to. What yeah. do you do next? Texting a message. Text the message. Yes. After that, send. you send it. And finally, yeah. uh, wait. The, <laughs> the request. Close the app. Close the app or finally wait for the response yes, if you're waiting yes. for a response. Right? Good. Very good. Questions? Finally, you stay in sync. <laughs> right. <I guess> so. <laughs> yeah, you, there is a blue check with no answer. <laughs> yeah. How can I say a visa? <laughs> yeah, they didn't answer. Yeah. yeah. So, what are the reasons why people don't answer your WhatsApp? What are the most common reasons? Busy. Busy. Oh, I was busy. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Maybe it could be that they have to pay some money. Right. Right. Maybe they owe you money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't have internet. Right, but they received the message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, there was a time that I sent a, a, a message to my to a coworker, and I said, um, I guess that I'm gonna have to send you information to the institutional phone because you don't answer my 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 messages. Oh, the the. The, the internet that I have in my house is bad. I was, yeah, but you received my message and you didn't answer. So 
you know. <laughs> so from that time on, I only write to his uh, institutional phone number. Mm. All right, questions or comments, people? A question mm. for this moment. No. Okay, so this is what we will do. You guys are going to be working in pairs. You will be working in pairs. One person using the sequence adverbs is going to explain how to prepare a maruchan soup. Got it? <laughs> That's very simple. That's very simple. And the other American person, soup. Uh, uh, a maruchan American soup. soup. And, oh, maruchan. The other, and the other person is going to explain how to prepare a ham and cheese sandwich. Very simple too. You don't yeah. need to be a chef to prepare a sandwich. You don't need to be a chef to prepare a maruchan. <laughs> right? Yes. So the mission is very simple. Any questions so about the instructions? Uh, your connection is choppy, teacher. Really? How can I say Erbir Awa? <laughs> Boil. 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 Yeah, the sound is choppy. <laughs> Okay, give me a second. All right. So if Isidro is working with Xiomara, uh, Xiomara will decide if she wants to prepare the marriage or if she wants to prepare the, the sandwich. If Carlos Mesquita is working with it, they will decide who's going to prepare the sandwich and who's going to prepare the soup. So let's go. All right. Okay. Let me send you the image.
ladies and gentlemen, any questions about uh, sequence adverbs? No? Mm, I don't. I don't. Okay. All right. So um, let's um, check this here. Teacher. Yep. What can I say? Condimentado. Uh, spiced. Ah, spiced. Yes, spiced. Do you guys like sandwiches? Yes. What is your favorite sandwich? Jam and cheese. Jam and cheese. <laughs> and, and wow. Do you put any vegetables in your ham and cheese sandwich? Yes. Lettuce and lettuce tomatoes. and tomatoes. What about onion and green pepper? Yes. Never. I like that. Yeah. All the vegetable. <laughs> okay. Delicious. Yep. When I prepare a sandwich, I usually put lettuce, tomato, and onion. That's it. Oh, uh, that's it. Yeah, keep it simple. <laughs> yep. All right, so let's check you, the... F yep. You are pro-onion. I love onion. I love onion like you have no idea. Do you guys like pickle onion? Yeah. I, don't, I don't like onions. No, you don't know what you're missing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why when I talk, I hear, I hear static. Okay. Yeah, onion is delicious. All right, so let's do the exercise. The first one says, Volunteer to read number one. Which snack? Which, which snack does it receive? Describe. Recipe describe. Recipe describe. When the kernels start pop, check the uh, 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 Question. The pronunciation of recipe is, is that? Recipe. Recipe. Or is recipe. Recipe. No, recipe. 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 I don't know where I, I hear recipe and I, I take no. by them. It's but recipe. It's not correct. Yes. Yeah, it's recipe. It's recipe. Okay. okay, so what is the answer for the first one? The person that was reading? Popcorn. Popcorn. When the kernels, uh, popcorn. Yeah. Popcorn. Yes. All right, volunteer for number two. <laughs> What are the last steps? Uh -huh. And making guacamole dip. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Finally, what a the last size? step Paper. in making guacamole dip. Yes. Add a little salt. Yes. Is the the first hot finally? Hot. Yeah. Finally, they go hand to hand with last. Add a little mm -hmm. salt. Right. Okay. What about number three? What the first step in making a toast bowl? Toasted bagel. Toasted bagel. bagel. Uh huh. First, first cutting cut in half. Exactly. First cut, cut it in half. Cut it in half. Excellent. What about number four? Why well, second numbers are not insertionable? First, first and finally. First exactly. And finally. First. Exactly. Exactly. First Point for me. First is always number one. <laughs> and finally will always be the last one. Questions or comments? I don't have. Okay. So the next step that we have is going to and will. What's the difference yeah. between going to and will, people? Will is for probability and uh -huh. going to is sure. sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, going to is for sure. Will is a possibility. Possible. Yes. Okay. So um, let me show you this. And there you have it. 
Going to is for plans. Will is for a possibility. Now, you can also use will not for possibilities, but you have to use it and indicate that the action that you made was made at the time you were speaking. You see the difference? For example. Okay, so do you want some All-Stars or do you want some Pumas? And then you start thinking, okay, All-Stars or Pumas? Uh, I'll take the Pumas. I'll take the Pumas. Now, when you say, I'll take the Pumas, you're stating that you decide for Pumas, but that was not planned. However, since you made the decision at the time of speaking without any planning, you have to say, uh, will. Okay. Got it? So for your next vacation, you want to go to Mexico or Canada? Okay, Mexico or Canada. Uh, I'll go to Canada. I'll go to Mexico. So you, 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 you use will uh, to indicate either that the following information, it's a possibility or maybe it's not a possibility, but you made the decision at the time of speaking. Questions or comments? Can you say another example, please? Sure, right now. Let me see the chat. So I asked you, what are you going to do on vacation? Okay, what are you going to do on vacation? What is the answer for that question? I am. I am going. I'm going to visit some relatives. Yeah. Now that is a decision that you made three months ago. I'm going to visit some relatives. Now, if I ask you, what are you going to do on vacation? You said, maybe I will stay home. I will stay home. So what does maybe indicate? It's not sure. You're not it's sure. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Yeah. Right. Or if I show you uh, two shirts and I said, do you want the blue one or the red one? So I show you a blue one and a red one. What would be the answer? You want the blue one or the red one? So you said, I'll take the red one. Remember, uh, you will always sound more natural when you use contractions. Yeah. So he says, I'll take the red one. I'll take the red one. Now, I asked you, which one do you want, blue or red? So when I asked you that question, you were not prepared for an answer. So when I ask you, you started thinking, and then you give me an answer. So that grammatically speaking, that's how you're supposed to uh, use um, going to and will. Questions or comments? No. Uh, what is the meaning in blue one or red one? Oh, it can be a shirt. It can be a cell phone. It can be a, a house, drawing. A it can be a house, a car, exactly. <clears throat> Yep. Uh, Those now, are choices. Now, is remember the color? That, now, is the color. The, the word one substitutes something that you already know about. Let me give you an example. You want the yellow one or the red one? 
Solo one or the red one? Yeah, I said red. Okay, the red one. So when I when you say the red one, you already have information about this motorcycle. Or if you why, say the yellow one. Why do you, why do you use one, not only red or only yellow? Uh, why one? Okay, the word one substitutes so you don't repeat the same word again. So, Im so imagine there is a group of people outside and then you say, that's my brother. The, which one? Ah, yes. So one yes. substitute the, uh, the people that are outside. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Thank you. All right. Questions or comments, people? No. I asked. <laughs> what is it? I asked. You you ask you ask what? No, no, I ask. I, I, I ask yes. Okay. I ask. Okay. Do you hear static? Yes, a lot of static. Yeah. Why is that? It's really nice. Excuse me? Devices, have a, having a good connection, maybe. Yeah, yeah but, I, I, but I wonder which one is cable. having... Which one is the one with the, with the sound? Does it show yeah. on the screen? In this moment, it's, it's clear. Yeah, yeah, but when the sound appears, whose microphone gets activated? Yeah, the, the microphone. My microphone. Your microphone. Yeah, your microphone. So it's my sure. connection or, or, or the headsets that I'm using. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, maybe. Okay, all right. Let me see this here. All right, so now it's time for you to explain what you have understood about sequence adverbs and the differences between going to. This is going to be the last time that I will ask you to work in pairs today. Let me recreate. Recreate. In a second. Move to room eight. And then everybody already has a partner. So let's do this. Paraphrase and explain uh, sequence adverbs and uh, the differences between will and going to. Go ahead.
Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions about today? No. Any no. questions, teacher? Okay, no. so thank you for your precious time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Have okay. a good night. Have a good night. 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 Good night.